Now, though, a Welsh rugby star puts his life in the hands of a daredevil scientist. Give me one hour to persuade you to take the challenge. And if you don't, I'll do your deal. I'll take the long walk to the electric chair myself. Well, you do it. Yes. Oh over the next 60 minutes, Greg is going to run through a series of scientific demonstrations that he believes will categorically prove you can take 750,000 volts to the head and live. The thing is, OK, I want to see the effect of electricity on your flesh. So what I'm thinking, we use this. Hit the switch. You're not convincing me to do this here. <laughs> There's a lot of electricity shooting through that, and it might look like it's being burned, like it would be in a yeah. fire, yeah. but it's not. What's happening is all that electricity is shooting in. It's gonna, oh yeah, it's just gonna melt and fall off. And you know where all that steam comes from? Because we've got about 60% water in our bodies, it's all within our cells. Yeah, yeah. And you've rapidly heated it up with all that electricity, shooting in one electrode, through all the nerves and the muscles, out the other one, and it's just turned it all to steam, and it's just gone like that. Great. So you've got to have pretty good reactions, haven't you? Oh, of course, Being the best. a rugby player, yeah. you reckon? Uh, this is the rapid reaction test. So right. pick up one of these. Oh my God. I'm going to hit that button in the middle. It's going to flash red. When it turns green, you've got to hit the button on the top as quickly as you can. The person who's the fastest right. will be fine. Well, the other three then, what happens? Let's have a look. What, green, is it? Green, as soon as it turns green. There's tiny currents running through your nervous system, constantly kind of up and down, up and down, naturally. It's the way that your brain communicates with your muscles. <laughs> And what happens is, is that external electricity, it overrides that nervous system in your fingers and it causes your muscles to spasm, right, and it fires the pain receptors and your brain goes, yeah, that hurts. Now, there's so much power in that that we can pass it through more than one person. So we can extend it. Oh, yeah. Now, nice and round now, boys, yeah? OK. <laughs> Put your hand on top again. Now, I know you don't normally do this, but I need you to hold hands. Go on, then. That's it. All right, Mark. Oh, <laughs> so, Gavin, you can still feel it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, not as bad as on my own, though. That's because the charge isn't just settling on uh, you, right, okay. it's being sent through your arms to you. Can you feel it? Yeah, a little oh, bit. Oh, your hair's standing up. <laughs> <laughs> to the next guy, how's yours? Yeah, I can feel it, yeah. So it's going through all three yeah, of you guys, hand. right? Okay. So if something stupid happens like this... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Ah! <laughs> whoa, whoa, good job! Oh, <laughs> so that electricity <laughs> managed to get through all three of you guys and then jump about that much to me. Science says that if you get inside here, oh, you're going to be right as rain. Is it? Do you want to have a go? No. <laughs> Not willing to trust me? No, I don't, I don't think so. Well, you I don't know think what? anything's going to survive under that. Just so I can be one up on you, all right, then. I'm going to bet my life on it. I'm going to go inside. No way. And you're going to fire the full 750,000 volts uh. onto the top of the phone box with me peering out at you. Uh. There's nothing you can't <laughs> In you go, Greg. Got to put my money where my mouth is. Yeah, All right, course. let's go for it. We all know exactly what the Tesla can do. And if Greg's wrong, there's probably nothing we can do to save him. Greg is putting his neck on the line. He reckons it's the only way to convince Gavin to face the Tesla. He's on his own right in the firing zone, and now there's no backing out. Greg, are you ready? Let's do it. Ready as you'll ever be. OK, fire up the Tesla. Quarters of a million volts are raining down on the phone box, and Greg is still standing. 750,000 volts. Cool as a cucumber. There you go. You've got to trust me now. Look at that. 
This experiment is to simulate driving the car into the electrical storm. I'm going to be in the driving seat. There's a space riding shotgun. Uh, right. Are you up for it? Oh, I'm going to have to be, and I'm starting to get competitive now with you, so I'm going to have to get in. If you're going in, I'm going in. This will yeah. be the first time that you've actually been directly underneath the tether coil. Well, if you're safe in the phone box, I'm kind of thinking the car's safer because of the rubber wheels. I wish you had a better car. You brought yours in, did you? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Gets me from A to B. Ah, fair enough. You going for it? Yeah, I can't wait. No second thoughts. You don't want to change your mind? No, no. If he's staying in, I'm staying in. All right, then. Let's clear the floor. Stand well back, ladies and gentlemen. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can do it. Oh, this car. It's got to slowly build up. I could have got a better car. What was that? You know how you said the rubber tires would be OK? Oh, yeah. They're not. All oh, right. We just lost one, didn't we? We just lost one. Oh, my God. You all right? I thought rubber was safe. We're smoking now, look. Oh, great.